Oh, hi everyone, Silas Silence here, and this is day 26 of the 31 days of Halloween. I'm a little late on posting this because I had started a new job and I could not get to this one in time to get it up and posted yesterday. So I am posting two today, day 26 and day 27. So this one's for day 26. Um, it's just this, I was going to do something a little different with it. I was going to do some latex, but I, as I was drawing on the outline for the spider web, I really liked how it looked with just the white paint. <coughs> so I decided not to do that and just stick with this very simple, very easy to do spider web makeup. I think it looks pretty awesome. I mean, my spider probably could use a little work, but you know, otherwise I think it looks really cool and very... Because the reason why I was going to use the latex is going to have it like pop up the skin a little bit more. Because, but because of my shading, it does look like it pops off the skin quite a bit. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And continue watching to see how I did this look. It should be a pretty short video. Um, but I do have some awesome plans for the last five days, which I'm going to start working on right after this video is posted. And... I hope you're excited because I really am. I'm going to try some different and awesome things, especially day 31. I have something super awesome planned. I hope it turns out as well as I'm conceptualizing it in my head. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about it. I hope you guys are too. And just continue watching and see how I did this. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's go. All right. So I just basically start this with some white water activated paint and I start drawing lines out of the center of my nose. The next thing that I want to do is still using the white water activated paint and start making the web shape with basically doing swoopy lines connecting all the lines going out from the nose. And of course, like, I got a little off track every once in a while, but it still ended up looking cool because I try to keep them together where they, you know, stay one line all the way across, which is why I just do it layer by layer. But eventually they become not so connected as well, but it you don't really notice as long as you try your best to keep them together. See, that's the first one that did not want to connect correctly. And here towards the end, it gets a little bit easier when you get further away, so because they start to get a little bit bigger, it seems a lot easier. And then the ones where they just when they connect to my hairline, I just stop those and stop making lines on that area. And now I'm just going in with black eyeshadow and on the top part of all of them, just dragging it down and blending it out.
And of course, just like when drawing the lines, when you get farther away, it's easier to drag the black eyeshadow out and not mess up your lines. I'm just using an angled brush to do this. It made it a lot easier. And here it's coming close to the end, just have a few little lines left to color in, or make the shadows on. And now I'm going to start to draw my spider, so I'm just using this very tiny brush with some black water activated paint and drawing two circles and filling those in. And then I start using the bigger brush to fill in the bigger circle. Which I mean, if you feel more comfortable using the smaller brush it, to make sure you don't go over your lines, do that. But I felt like I was able to do it without using the smaller brush. And now I'm just drawing legs out from the spider. And now I'm just adding a little bit more texture to the spider with some white water activated paint. And I'm just kind of making some lines and blending that out. And then just drawing those little things at the top. But that pretty much does it for this very simple spider web makeup. I hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.